Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days Valencia. It's me, JD Sensei. You like JD? Didn't I just see you go upstairs last episode? Yes, you did. Now I'm going downstairs because I realized I might have forgot something. Uh, I didn't think of it until I got all the way up there. And I was like, wait, I might need them. The wood railings. I don't feel like making them off the top of my head. If I got some down here, I'd rather have those on me. But if I don't, I don't. Uh, I did. I did meant to take those see little thing i forgot little thing i forgot we're gonna continue working on the trestle up here a bit i'm gonna continue on doing i could continue on doing what i'm doing but yeah i had an idea for that passageway and we're gonna be working on that probably next episode probably I'm leaving that body here in case I go away long enough. I love this how this came out. This came out really good. Have you still not cured yet? Really? Or is that just the way the light's working? Let me, uh, let me just look. Ah, uh, not sure what's going on here. Because these have cured from the bottom. Ah. Uh, it's got to be something to do with the torchlight or the way the shadows reflect. Not 100% on that. Okay. Now, excuse me. Get the hell out of here. All right. I got to plant something there at some point. Oh, shit, spot. I should have brought up the blueberries. We didn't think of it. All right. First things first. We want to... First, we want to get up here. Then we'll figure it out. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, get a commanding view here. All right, so... We actually want... Mo D's. All right, I'm gonna... See if I can't get my fat ass out here. Yahoo! There we go. Okay, so I did want to put these like... So... Like that. All right. Yahoo. Okay. And yippee doo. There we go. Let me get up here. I say get up. Okay. Not sure where I'm going. There we go. All right. So we do have to fix this corner too. It's my bad. I didn't realize how off it was. So let's get rid of that. Get that axe in there real quick. And pop that out of there. All right, let's get awnings, please. Not the other stuff. Pop the axe back out. Throw that back in. Throw that in there. There we go. And then we can just... Can't connect that. But we can make what we want to make. So I need to come over here. And this needs to be ramps again. So out with the old, in with the new. Okay. Uh, sorry, this gets a little bit convoluted here. Uh, tally ho! I made it. All right. So then I want to stop freaking out. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Now, out with these, in with these. I was hoping to actually jump on that, but thank you for playing. It might be better just to make stairs. Temp stairs, you know. It might be better to do that. While I'm doing construction work, it might be the better idea. Okay. Off like so. Pardon me. All right. Sometimes it's like you didn't jump. You didn't jump. We didn't see you jump. And then there's that time where you know what? Screw freaking you. Let me up here, damn it. All right, how do I want to do this? 
So maybe this corner's got to go away. I hate it when I have to get rid of a corner. Uh, just because they take a, a little bit to make. But to be honest, it's in my best interest to get rid of what I can get rid of. Okay, so let me put these on here so I know what the hell I'm doing. All right, there we go. And then we come along here, connect those up, right like that, and then connect these. Now this part is, thank God this stuff doesn't burn. If it did, that would suck. All right, now then, uh, probably should just do the other side for now, which would necessitate old JD not being a doof. And making this T section over here. Okay, fine. Just go over there for a second. I don't care. Thank you. All right. So now we just pop that out of there. Pop this in. Scoop that out. See, I have to, I end up building this stuff as I go. Slowly figuring out how I want it to be. Don't worry. We can use the corner blocks later. Get the corners up so I know what's got to go where. Like, literally just right there. Okay. So. JD, a Dumbo. Okay. I am a Dumbo. All right. That's fine. Uh, pop that out. Pop that in. Excuse me while I unstick myself here. Take that. Okay, now we can go over here. I realized it when I uh, locked myself in there. I was like, wait a minute. Now I can't get out. All right, and I am going to have to take this down, this down. Take this down. All right, so we're going to pop these out for right now. Now what we want to do is this is where the corner blocks go. All right, so... Let's set these up. Now, that one should go... Oh, technically, it would... Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Okay. Pop that out. Pop that in. So, technically... Technically... I want the corner... To be... Wait. How do I want to do this? Ah, you boys having issues here. All right, how do I want to do this? Damn it! <laughs> All right, so that legit... Wait a minute, wait, wait a rock picking second here. So, but, ah, I guess we could do that. And then this side would turn in like this. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. That way, this is flat. So, oh, uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, I guess we can do that. There's definitely going to be a little give and take here while I figure out how I want things to work. I reserve the right to change stuff later if I do not think it suits my needs. Why? Why? Okay, maybe it would be better like this. Yeah, it would be better like that. And then you can close that off. Close that off. All right, 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 right. That makes more sense. Okay. And that leaves this flat. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So, we actually want to come back. No, didn't want to do that, but thank you for playing. I don't know why. Just had a brain fart of how to move that block the way I wanted it to go. Okay, and then... 
Uh, that makes more sense. All right. Now we get to do the dangerous part. Yay! Because doing this side's always fun. Okay. Now I probably want to pop that back out. Like that. All right. And then once I have the awning blocks for the rest, we can do that. All right. Now. Now then. Back to the countdown. All right. Now. What I want to do is I want to. Actually, this might have to wait until I get more square awning. Because the way I need to build it. All right. So we're going to start going back down. One thing I have learned, it's usually a good idea not to overbuild. And by overbuild, I mean if you're not 100% sure on what you're going to do, you're going to waste a lot of resources and time tearing something down. So I got a basic idea, and right now if I decide to change it, all it will do is cost me some, uh, some corner awning. But if I did what I was going to try to do and it doesn't work out the way I want it to, uh, it's going to cost me a lot more. So I'm going for right now, I'm going to defer until I have the blocks I need to uh, make get rid of these ladders. For right now, I don't need them. All right, let's drop off the awning. Uh, and we're going to switch back to... Possibly concrete. Start a little bit of work in that house over there. Um, so I do realistically, uh, we're going to take these two. I do realistically want to bring frames in, iron bars. Oh, and I wanted to grab these real quick. Uh, so that'll get rid of the awnings. All right. I know, I know. There's a lot of stuff I'm... Um, Jo uh, jostling and jockeying around at the moment to make stuff work, which is fine. I mean, yeah, some people are probably sitting there in the comments, well, why not build another chest? Because I actually mean to empty some of this out tonight and bring it back. Bring it back with me. So it uh, doesn't make sense. Because what will happen is I'll build another chest and I'll never use it. I, I've already... I, it's, a, it's a problem with me. I, I just keep forgetting to, you know, do a little plant in here. I don't need to be fertilized either. It's just there for looks. Alrighty. We got the idea... That. Now we can go work on the next building and at least start sealing up the bottom floor and getting it, uh, you know, getting it fixed on the bottom just so if I do have zombies at some point, I can get rid of them. And remember, if I wanted to, I don't, but if I wanted to, I could definitely go up there, go down, you know, basically travel all around the buildings never having to go outside. I do see you over there, stupid. Stay over there, too. Because if you come over here, you're going to get to business. And by business, I mean an ass whooping with, a, uh, with some machine gun. You got an ass whooping coming. All right, anyways. Enough of that nonsense. All righty. And, yeah, we'll replace this with a vault door at some point. All right, take these bad boys out of here, get the axe out of here. Might need the pickaxe, so I'll take the pickaxe, take that, probably won't use the sniper, so for right now, I'm gonna take this and turn on this, just in case there's any landmines. And uh, for time being, we're gonna pop the knife out. I never ended up using my freaking fences, uh, my wood railings that I took with me. But you know what? I had them if I needed them. That's all that really matters. 
this is the problem area. This needs to go. Okay, probably just upgrade the scrap. All right. Axe can come out, actually. It was a shovel I wanted in here. All right, let's start getting rid of this crap. It's fine if I miss a little bit. Okay. Not that. Get out of there. Okay, and we do need to fix that. Go ahead and fix this up in a moment. All right, and then I guess we can leave a window here. So why don't we set this up for a window here and there. Like so, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so go ahead and fix this. There we go, that looks good. Get the iron bars out for a mo. Just go as we go, you know. Every little bit will help. Alright. Let's just prevent. It just keeps one area where the idiots can get in and annoy me. So I don't have to worry about People sliding into my DMs, for lack of a better term. Um, this should go over here. Uh, for lack of a better term, I keep them from sliding in here. All right, let's just start stripping this crap out of here. See what we're looking at. Yeah, that does look okay for now. Give me that rock, please. What did I say? Give me the rock. There's a lot of crap here. I'm gonna slowly inch our way over. That went a little lower than it needed to. Uh, now I'm looking at this place. It's gonna be a lot more work than I thought. A lot more destroyed than the other one was. All right, well. No. I'm drop the shovel out real quick and throw in the pickaxe. Do some cleanup work up here. Where would you put it? What did I do with it? Oh. Keep forgetting that knife spot is open. Alright, is there anything to loot up here? There's some trash. I don't know why. A hammer knocks it out in one hit. But, oh, get out of your mind. But my hand punching a piece of paper does nothing to it. Alright, let's do a little basic repair. A little something, something. This is a big mess over here. Okay. Let's give ourselves a little walkway around here. Okay, let's go ahead and surgically remove some crap. That at the moment doesn't need to be here. Well, guess who forgot that was there? All right, let me go up here. Be mindful of possible booms. There's another bird's nest. That one had something I wanted in it. This place really is kind of crappy, huh? Not sure what you're sticking to. But okay, we'll get rid of you where we can get rid of you. And somebody should have told JD that was holding that up, but... Oh, JD didn't make the connection. All right, well, you know what? I don't think anybody ever expected me to be super intelligent. And if they did, 
Not good on them, I tell you that. I don't expect me to be intelligent. I'm just going to leave those here for now. And this is a dead end. I should really fill this in because I'm dumb and I will find a way to fall through it. So for right now, I'm not going to upgrade it yet. But I am going to just kind of fill in the mess here. This is where I fell last time. All right. So I'm thinking through that area right there. All right, so we do have a door over here. Are you unlocked? Of course not. That would make sense. Open says me. Get your ass out of here. Okay, we got a cooler. A cooler. A little bit of my Boston accent at you. A little cooler to go with the water down in Bar Harbor. Fucking crazy. It's wicked pisser. Please note, I have never used those words. That was not my lexicon growing up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is a very, very specific accent. Closely tied to an area called South Boston. Yeah, I kind of figured this would need clay to fix it. I'll probably just cut it out of there. Uh, it's specifically tied to an area called South Boston. Um, I will say a lot of people in a place called Westy, uh, West Roxbury, also were hip to that slang. But for the most part, in the areas I grew up, it was not a thing to speak that way. Because I can't be bothered to swap the axe back in. Oh, we had a gun locker in here and another ladder. All right. Well, we'll open this up. Yeah, that that accent is commonly referred to as a Boston accent. But realistically, it's only in a very, very specific area of Boston and nowhere else. I won't want to say, like, uh, honestly, if you came to Boston and rode on the MBTA, which is the... Uh, Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, the, you know, the subway, you would maybe, and not to stereotype, it, uh, it, it is a stereotype, but it's not. Uh, I have never heard anyone other than white, for the most part, males and some females, but it's specifically uh, a, a white accent. I can't for the life of me ever remember anybody's Hispanic, black, or Asian. Well, Asian and Hispanic around here have very significant accents. Usually Asians around us are of Chinese descent. We have a big Chinese, a very big Chinese uh, population, um, which strikes me as odd because I took I learned Japanese which means I get no practice our Hispanics tend towards uh, depending on where you are uh, mostly Puerto Rican but we do have El Salvadorans um, uh, El Salvadorans Hondurans we have Colombians that's more of California uh, uh, sorry Florida than here but we do have contingents of them, but uh, predominantly uh, Massachusetts is heavily Puerto Rican and uh, the African, we do have a lot of native Africans, I will say that. Um, most of them, uh, a lot of my friends are uh, native African, you know, from Kenya and uh, uh, Nigeria, places like Chad, I have, Friends from Chad, friends from Nigeria, friends from uh, uh, Kenya, Zimbabwe. Yeah, so very multicultural. But I will, I, I, as I was saying, I've only, to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever heard a black person, Hispanic, or Asian that I know of speak with a that particular accent. 
I've never actually heard them mispronounce water as water. I, I'm almost 100% sure that's specifically a white thing in New England. And again, it's a very specific accent to a very specific part of New Eng of Massachusetts. You know where it's big is probably Fall River and play uh, like Lynn maybe as well. But since I'm from the inner city, I grew up in the inner city, I never heard it used outside of uh, Boston proper. So I'm going to stick to my guns and say that is a thing. You can debate me on that. I mean, I'm just going from my personal experiences. But again, I've only had a few friends from Lynn and um, Lynn Lowell. I know Millis didn't talk like that. Medford, Medford Millis and Met, uh, Medford, um, which is how they pronounce it, Medford, instead of Medford. And I don't have very many friends uh, from Worcester and nobody from uh, I don't even have relatives. I don't believe out further than, uh, for those of you familiar with New England, I'd say Essex. I have relatives in Suffolk, Essex, and Middlesex. I don't have anybody from the far parts of the state, closer to the New York border. I don't believe so. I think I have maybe third cousins that I haven't seen in a long, 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 long time. Uh, out further. So, again, I can only give the experiences I know, but I know for a fact a lot of people will ask me to say wada or car or sta. Their favorite one is for me to do the entire spiel. I'm going to take my car to my, drive my car out to Harvard Yard to see the stars out of Bar, Bar Harbor. You know, which always got me too in Fallout, and nobody had a, a, a an actual heavy Boston, um, heavy, heavy uh, Southie accent. Of all the things that I think would survive, oh yeah, that would survive. Why? Because it annoys people. As a matter of fact, if we were, uh, if I was going to make uh, Raiders. Specifically for like Boston, the, in the Boston areas, I legit think they should have got some people from Southie, South Boston, to come in and do lines for the Raiders. That would be hilarious. Could you just could you just imagine how funny that would be? Hey, Bobby, you got to be careful over there. The jet'll make you jittery, yeah? God, I would die laughing. That would be so hilarious. And the fact that they missed that opportunity is beyond me. Well, I can understand why they did it. They just reused uh, a lot of voice lines. They tend to do that. You know? I don't think there was much... The Raiders still had a lot of the same voice lines reused quite a bit and it really to me and I, you know I don't know Washington DC that well I've only been there like twice and literally uh, not for nothing but I was flying through so just saying uh, you know I was flying into places like Dulles or something like that so I was in there to visit so I don't have much experience with the accent, so I couldn't tell you. And I will say for Fallout 3, uh, the pit, I think they went super duper apocalyptic for uh, that. So I don't think a true Chicago accent would fit, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I think, you know, that Southie accent is just so... So, that's like the, um, oh, what's her name? Was it Moira from Fallout 3, the one that did the uh, survival guide? She has a very distinct accent, which I, 
don't quote me, I don't know where her accent is from. But it's very distinct that, oh, don't you know, you know? God, I don't know where that accent's from, but I am familiar with it. I just know I've heard it before. I'm just doing a little more work here, but realistically, this is what I wanted to do, is to get enough shoveled out to start no, not there. Walling this in a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be walled in. Honestly, I think this needs to be a window. Yeah, probably. This is probably a window. Yeah, that's a window. Yeah, that's definitely a window. Yeah, that's a window. All right, so that one goes there, that one goes there. All right, let's go ahead and fix that. Boom. Boom, there we go. Oh, now you're cold. Shut up. Oh, well, I hit the wrong thing there. That's a shame. Uh, I almost switched. Okay, let's start getting in some bars. And then we do have to start thinking about moving. Yeah, I went off on one of my weird tangents, but you can't... Well, I, I suppose you can all have your opinions, but to me, I seriously consider that a major missed opportunity that they never used a pure New England accent like that one. Okay, that's a window. Uh, they really should have. Uh, th th I think they screwed up there. I have to, I have to, I kind of want to live by that. I, I want to die on that hill, I think. I really think they messed up there. Doesn't ruin it, but you know, in the land of missed opportunities. I guess maybe they didn't do it because, to be honest, I'd be laughing so hard if I heard Raiders with the Southie accent. I'd probably get killed a lot. Just saying. Because I definitely wouldn't take them seriously. That's like legit playing like Fallout... Uh, uh, Fallout 76 and, uh, you know, getting hit with that deep south accent. That would just crack me up and I would not take, especially, come on, man. How come there's no super mutant? Now imagine a super mutant with a redneck accent. Why did these opportunities get missed? Actually, if it's a super mutant one, I would not be, oh, crap. I would not be surprised if there actually is. A super mutant with a redneck accent. With just a really heavy Jim, uh, deep south Bubba Joe Jim Bob. My God. But I guess they want to sort of be taken seriously, even though you got the Pip Boy. Just saying. It's enough wacky comedy, I guess, but still. And, yeah, we need clay for this, so we're going to just, just get rid of that now. Okay, and we'll have to figure this portion out in a bit. Oh, God, I guess I'll throw on the freaking coat. Stop bitching. All right, so I do have a lot more to scoop out, which is probably good for me. because It's going to get me a lot of stone. All right, I think I should start wrapping this up. And I also think I should keep the keep the riffraff out of there. Alright, now comes the fun part where we drop off what we don't need and we grab what we do want. And, and I did take... I did. Nope, I kind of figured it was reinforced steel. Uh, uh, st whatever the hell. It's steel, okay? I kind of figured it was steel. You stay over there. Don't. None of y'all bug with me. I, I'm leaving. 
I'm leaving. I got places to go, people to kill that are not here. I'm pressed for time. And I do want to murder some tires on the way. So, realistically, I do not want to be loaded down by a bunch of crap. So, close that up. All right, we need to not doof around here too much. Uh, what do we want to take back? Let me grab a couple of, grab these and these. All right, we can drop off this and this for the moment. Uh, we can drop this off. I'm going to take this back. And take that back. Take the eggs back. Take that back. And drop off the leather. We're going to take the ammo from here for the moment. Uh, we will leave this behind. We will leave these behind. I'm going to grab the shoddy out of ammo out of here because it's useless to us. Over here, we'll drop these frames out. We will take back, and the food can stay. We'll take these two with us. We'll leave these right here. Uh, move that out of the way for a moment. I'm just seeing what else I can get out of here that does not need to be here. Probably this and that. Um, I'll take beer back. I'll take the glass back. All right, I need to see if there's anything I actually want to leave here that would make sense. We can get this out of here. We can sort this out a bit more. All right, that's leaving a lot. Oh, and let's get this shotgun out of here. So what can I... I should leave off... Actually, I should leave off ammo now that I think about it. Let's bring this shotgun back. And I should leave this over here in case I need it. What else should I leave over here? Actually, let me leave those over here. You never know when I might need those. Okay, that gives me a little room to play with. And I can throw some of this crap in my mini bike. Alright, so I don't have to be stuck with this crap. Alright. Sitting here dicking around. Alright, let's go ahead and drop. That doesn't really matter. Just get it out of my freaking way. There we go. Turn this on so I can see because it's raining. All right. What I am looking for are some tires. Like this one. So I do want to... I'm going to roll the dice here. Nothing. Okay. Not great. Not great, but we'll live. Uh, specifically, I want to get some more wheels so I can maybe upgrade my mini bike a bit. Specifically, it's this frame that's got me screwed up, so. The frame is the worst part. Was that another tire? Nah, I, I, if I can't see it clearly, I'm going to ignore it. But realistically, if I could get three or four good tires and make some 100% tires, I'd like to do that. Hopefully, I do not run into a bow wow on the way. That would not be good. I'm just taking the ones I see. Another one up there. It looks like two or three. There's a couple. Okay, let me grab this. It's another tire. Let me grab this one. Another tire. Okay. Give me another one. I don't think I got one out of that. Let me take a look, see, and see how many I got so far. Uh, okay, didn't do great on that, but I did get a 510, so, and I got room for a few more. I did get a 510, which will probably... I get a couple more, I might be able to make a 600. Right, There's a tire. Let me grab that one. Nope. Can't all be winners. They can all be losers, but not definitely not all winners. Any more tires around? All right, but anyways, we're moseying at the same time, so. We're getting things done, guys. We're getting things done, slowly but surely. 
it's become less of a zombie game and more of a rebuild it game, but I, I don't think I didn't see that one. I'm trying to hide it over here. Ah, damn it. I can't win them all, I guess. Still in the danger zone here, too, doing this. I'll keep an eye, see if there's any more on the way back. All right, it looks like we're going to get into the forested zone, so that's, well, well, of course you're hot. Shut up. Oh, I can't resist. All right. I should have resisted. I also should have taken off my freaking coat while I had the chance, because, of course, she's overheating. Stop your bitching, will you? I'm going to swap those now, okay? Sheesh! Annoying girl. Uh, it's actually a little hard to see them if they're on the road. Like That was a body. There's a tire. There's a couple of them. Just pop off here. What do you got? Got a tire. And don't know if I got one. Probably not. All right. Let's keep it moving. Another tire up here. It's 1927. We still got time. No luck. I figure one more, and then I'm just not going to grab them anymore. One more ought to do it. If I can't get a pure 600 out of that, that's ridiculous. Oh, oh that's a... Ah, there we go. Okay. Turn that off. All right. So I did want to try and harvest a bit, too. At least get the cotton up. At least get the cotton up. Hey, look, the sun's back. Yay. Yeah, there's more tires if I need them. I think we got decent mix done. We got a little building done. We got a little clearing out done. We got a little uh, landscaping done. We got some zombies murdered because they deserved it. Because they were in my general vicinity. Which is literally all you need for me to aggro you. And it is, at this point in the game, I aggro them. It's not the other way around. The only ones I don't aggro are dogs and cops. They aggro me. But for the rest of them, oh yeah, I aggro. And I have, I have sound and sight aggro. If you, I hear you and you're within my range... And I think you're going to be annoying. I'm going to come get you. And I'm going to remove the threat before it becomes a threat. They do not want to deal with that crap. Yeah, there's another possible tire down here. But I think... I think old JD might have got enough. Might have got enough. To, uh, I should have enough. With a pure 510, I can get awfully damn close. Because my engine is 600. I, really, the only thing holding this mini bike back is the frame. So I'll just redo the whole damn thing here in a bit. Not, not, not on stream. I wouldn't do that to you guys. You don't need to see that. You don't need to bother with that. That's more of a me thing. You don't need to see me rebuilding it. I do, I, I do that enough for you guys when I freaking manage to find a way to kill myself fall in a hole all right let's go ahead and uh, grab some of this crap out of here okay I kept a lot of this crap and I should have dropped it off but I didn't think of it uh, okay for right now just drop it anything that's extra uh, well you should go in the money one now that I think about it which is specific oh yeah I got two crappy ones but two purples which is good. Yeah, not those. Not those. Not the snipey. Definitely this crap. That out of there. And get these 250 out of here. Okay. Um, get back my thing. You go here. You go here. Nope. Snipey goes down here. There we go. Makes a little bit more sense. All right, and why do I have paper? 
Oh, because they cleared paper out. I remember now. All right, and drop this off for sale, and this off for sale. Probably got to do a vendor run here very shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that up a bit. All right, let's go harvest in, keep the bonkomatic out in case anybody needs a, an attitude adjustment, which they probably do. Somebody's probably up here and needs an attitude adjustment, I would assume. But if not, it's still here. All right, we're going to make our way over. We're going to grab up the chrysanthemum. We're going to plant one field of chrysanthemum. And we're going to plant two fields of cotton this time around. Which I know this is, this is the stuff you guys really tune in for. I know. To see me harvest. So I know. Nothing's better than watching this. This is peak, peak YouTube entertainment right here. Man, you just can't find this stuff on the local networks. Definitely not stuff you can find on local networks. All right, so we only need 64 this time around, not 128. We're going to need 128 of the cotton, which is going to slow down our cotton production a bit. So I need recipes. I need these. I need 64 of you bad boys. 64, please. And drop my shovel out. Go ahead and equip that. We'll replant this. why we decided to do that but sure okay I'll humor you and assume that's what you thought I meant to do but it was not I'm also on my farms which is my happy place which means if they come at me the most they can do is stand out there and get hurt by spikes while I just calmly sit here and do my thing why I built them the way I did. And the weather cannot decide, at least it's not snowing this time. I might have just jinxed myself, didn't I? Now I think about it, probably shouldn't freaking roll the dice there. Okay, not sure why you were being annoying. But you really are. I know one goes in here. There we go. All right. Now we can just take these up purely. Don't have to replant this at the moment. All right. And a good amount of my cotton is going to get turned into seed, sadly. But it is what it is. I need what I need. But yeah, with this harvest, I think I have enough of what I need at the moment. Why did you not grow? You know what? Get out of there. Also, I just hit dirt. That might not, that might be bad. I might have to go get dirt. Which I can go do. That's not a problem. I'm going to have to go get dirt. Yeah, a couple of them didn't grow for some reason. I just noticed that. A couple of them did not grow. I'm not sure why. Eh, that one didn't grow either. I wonder why. All right, while I'm doing this, go ahead and give me recipes. And I'm going to need cotton seed. And I'm going to need, we're going to go with 128. And while you are making these, let me drop those into storage. I'm going to go quickly grab some dirt. Uh dirt and some uh, fertilizer. Realistically, I think I can use a hammer to repair that. Got to remember not to run down that. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, I'm going to be lazy and leave that open too. All right. Pretty sure I got some... I didn't leave fertilizer, but I think I can just fix it with dirt. That place I punched. 
second case because I was aiming for one thing and I didn't hit the one thing. I hit another thing. It's this way. Go ahead and give me a stack of dirt. Okay, just in case I need it. I'm just, uh, for right now, I'm just going to try and plant. And if I get that bald spot that I can't plant on, I'll deal with it. Uh, you know what's funny is I'm going to be uh, doing the next two episodes in less than 12 hours. Neat! Neat, neat, neat. I'm taking advantage of a weird holiday, so I I'm going to use this time to get ahead. And then I, uh, oddly, have a three-day weekend. Because the whole thing, when they were moving my shift around, they ended up delaying it. So, even though, my God, stop it. Stop being a pain in the ass. My God, why? Why were you being annoying? All right, for right now, we're going to try and replant. Let's try and do that first. Again, not... 100% sure why that cotton didn't grow. But we're going to ignore it for now. Oh, it wasn't cotton, was it? Oh, it was chrysanthemum, the one I had to punch out. Hopefully. Yeah, so far, I think it was this one, right? Might have been. This is barely leaving me enough time to go kill a couple of people, just saying. I'll have very little time, but I definitely want to seek somebody out to smack upside the head. So, you know, I cannot and will not. Well, I won't say will not, because if I get close to 2200, I don't want to be running around with people on my tail. That would be embarrassing. Okay, you guys have replanted. So let's start working here. Not 100% sure why you did not grow. Oh, it's planted. Yep, right here? Right here. Thank you. Pain in the ass. It's so touchy on those corners. I'm going to have one chance to run out and just bash two people upside the head, maybe one, depending on how close they are together. Well, I needed to do this, and I can just leave the chrysanthemum to, to grow until I might need more. Alright, well, we'll pay attention to that cotton, too. Just in case the reason they didn't grow is because I hit it. I might have hit it before. I don't think that's the issue. Can we not fight me on this? Can we not fight me on this? I ask these questions, and you do not give me the answers. All right. Also, they did update. Uh, I did see I got an update for um, uh, Medieval Dynasty. And I did play a little bit on my own, uh, you know, trying to find a good place to build. Still haven't really found a super duper great spot that I like yet. So, but they, uh, I did, oh, I got literally no time here. I'm just going around seeing if anybody needs a attitude correction. I got like two minutes. Come on, somebody spawn in that needs to get hit. Oh. Do I my ears to see me? Did I hear somebody that was begging to get smacked. I might have, I might have been hearing things. All right, I can't really go far afield here. Aha! I knew I heard somebody. Thank you for the nails. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> it makes me happy. Not JD happy now. All right, not really. I wanted to this, too. Okay, now I'm happy. Maybe this, too. Maybe this, too. Okay, I already alluded that. All right, let me stop with my damn shenanigans. Let me knock my damn shenanigans off. I, I'm just screwing around here. You know me. I like, uh, I, li I like living on the edge. 
living on the edge. I don't know the words to that song, so I just sing that part. And, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Haha. -ha. YouTube can't copyright me. Yeah, copyright strike me if I don't even know the words. And I don't know the tune that well either. As a matter of fact, half the time I forget the artist. Uh, in this case, I'm pretty sure I know who, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be wrong. I might as well just drop that off. All right, let me... Uh, hey, look at that timing. I did lock my door, right? Okay, as long as I lock that up. Uh, let me start some stuff for overnight, even though I'm going to be busy tonight doing other stuff, but that'll level up my tailoring. And then I can make some more awning blocks. Not a, not a lot, but a few. But a few. I have a feeling most of the awning blocks are going to be made uh, relatively later. Uh, let me throw these in my inventory for right now. Why do I have dirt in here? I think I just got lazy and dumped stuff in here. I definitely got lazy and dumped stuff in there. I do crap like that. I got to end the episode, I know, but I'm quickly doing some crap. Take those. Take that. That's what I thought. I thought I had an even number. Uh, recipes. I don't know why I did that. And go ahead and make a couple more. Thank you, sir. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. You have been watching 7 Days to Die Valencia. If you like this video, make sure to leave that like. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.